Hi, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Christy and I need to catch you up real quick. I have lived and traveled with my two dogs in my self-converted camper van for the past three years. And a couple months ago, it unfortunately burned down due to a fire and we lost everything. So we are getting back on the road. I purchased a old truck and a even older camper that is 30 years old to start living on the road again and going back to being a nomad. Continue on US 12 West for 30 miles. Coastline calls my name like a spirit in the dark. Running from my and I wonder where you are. I just stopped at Planet Fitness to take a shower and just stretch my legs a little bit. Um, I did like a quick little workout. It's almost two o'clock now. I'm eating leftover pizza from last night. So far, everything's going smoothly. Um, it's been a pretty, I'd say, like average, boring highway drive. I am hoping to stop in St. Louis in about two hours and do a little sightseeing and then hit the road and find somewhere to sleep tonight. Seeing the arch on foot downtown St. Louis just did not work out. It was a little too busy, but I think we might have found something that suits the dogs better. We are at a sculpture garden. It's cool. There's a river that runs through here and all this artwork is kind of nestled right into nature. So I thought this would be a nice way to stretch my legs, stretch the dog's legs before we drive a little bit longer and find somewhere to sleep tonight. Good morning. First time ever sleeping in a Cracker Barrel was a success. Definitely prefer that over Walmart. It was way more quiet. There was a couple other campers here and it was really smooth. It got really cold last night though. It was 38 degrees in here when I woke up. I didn't have the heater on at all. But I was nice and warm and toasty because the dogs slept in bed with me and they seemed really comfortable. So once I got up, I turned the heater on and then the sun started coming up and we were perfectly fine. But with that said, I need to get a little bit of work done and then we're going to hit the road. And I think I found somewhere really pretty to stay tonight. We'll see. Check out my neighbor.
Remember that very special outfit of mine? I can't help but giggle at my outfit. Ironically, it's the same outfit I was wearing the night of the fire, and this is the outfit that needed to be thrown away. And it's, it's gross. Needs to be needs to be thrown away after this. <laughs> Maybe that'll be like an end of an era. The only clothes I had were on the fire, and then I used them to paint this camper, and then they're gonna be thrown away, out with the trash, in with the new. I imagine that'd have like a bigger oomph, but you know, sometimes the trash is just not worth it. We arrived to our spot so tired that was a long day of traveling is really only supposed to be a six and a half hour drive but we had to make a couple stops along the way and when we got to our campsite it was dark and i don't normally do that but we got a spot we're right by the water i'll show it to you guys in the morning but i am going to clean up just a little bit and make an easy dinner and probably fall right asleep <laughs> We got up for sunrise and it's starting to come up. Like a spirit in the dark. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get, but it's so cold and windy, so we're gonna hit the road. shade in the shade I'm just laying here about to read a book and I'm just taking everything in and this hammock was a really good idea and I'm glad I did I was worried it was gonna be too much to like put up I put it up like 30 it's so easy maybe 30 seconds it's so comfy and I'm so glad I did it what made me think to do this hammock was I loved my hammock inside my bus. That was like my all time favorite thing. And then, and I did have another hammock that you hang between two trees. And I found I rarely used it because it was hard to find two trees that um, were close enough because I tended to camp away from trees. And ironically, I'm around a bunch of trees right now, but that's the thing is like, the hammock would have to be way over there. Like I wanna be right next to my rig and buy the dogs. And I think this hammock was a good purchase and it was really cheap. I got it off Amazon. So I'm really happy. <laughs> Texas and we have about 10 hours to get to Arizona and we're going to an area in Arizona that has been on my want to go list for four years so let's get to it 